accept that I'll likely be lost and damned forever. That I'll likely never be able to shake hands with and approach my, my fellow people, especially in church. I accept that I'm a failure for the rest of my life. I won't be like these women, especially able to shake hands with people, able to show love to my fellow human being. I accept that I'm a failure. That, that I'll, I'll always be a, like lost and damned. I'll always be effed up. I accepted this, that I'll be indirectly a reject for the rest of my life. I'll be miserable. I'll never find the, the happiness that most other people have. That I'm going to be effed up forever. I said that I'm going to be fucked up forever. That there's no hope for me, in a sense. Now, I realize sometimes in life, you got to say stuff, even though, you know, sometimes you got to lie to yourself in life, you know. Sometimes in life, you got to say what makes you feel good, even though, if you know, it's not the truth. You know, kind of like program yourself. You know? Sometimes in life you gotta do that. You know. But I'm I'm telling the truth that I suffer when it comes to women. I've been wrote off when it comes to women. I never had a girlfriend. I'm well over the age of 18, and I never even had sex with a woman. I, I I'm telling you the truth when it comes to that. I'm 20 years old, never gotten laid. Yeah, I did masturbate, jerk off the porn, this and that. And even got a scar from my penis from masturbating too many times. But overall, I'm a failure when it comes to women. I've been rolled off by women. It's over for me. I'm fu I'm messed up forever. It's it's similar to these Catholic priests. I'm lost and damned. I'm lost forever. I'm I'm fucked up forever. I'm messed up forever. Just like these Catholic priests. These Catholic priests could not get no women. They suffer from low self-esteem. Certain Catholic priests suffer from low self-esteem like I do. That's why they became Catholic priests in the first place. That's why they called Father to build them the, their self-esteem up. Because they knew that they failed. They knew that there were failures when it came to women. They knew they had failed in life. And I'm one of them. I failed. You know, I have failed when it came to women. I'm a failure. I messed up. I'm a failure when it comes to life. And I have also accept that I'm probably going to end up like those thugs, you know, demolition man. It doesn't matter even if I did get that GD. I probably won't be able to work in government. I probably will not get on top and gain connections like I want to do. But, you know, I, I'll either end up like those thugs and demolition man, or I'll end up, you know, serving the Lord somehow, you know. Maybe I'll serve God's people, you know. And, and in exchange, they, they uh, have me, uh, you know, feed me this and that. Because the system's requirements are probably too high for me, and it's all fantasy, you know. I just have these fantasies in my, you know, these ideal, I have the ideal life in my mind, in my head. It's like a cope in my life. It's like a cope. I tell myself, I know I'm messed up. I'm going to be messed up for forever. When I say forever, I mean for a while or a very long time, or maybe it really is forever. For an age, you know, for an age, a very long time. I know I'm going to be messed up forever. And of course, there's a lot of things I probably wanted to say, but the thing is, I, I ate too much. I got drunk on food. I, I was a glutton, of course. I ate so much, and there's a lot of stuff I probably would like to say, but unable to say it because I can't remember it because, you know, I ate so much. But I know I'm going to be messed up forever, just like those Catholic priests. That's why they became priests in the first place, you know, no matter how good looking they are. You know, there, I, I'm talking about only a few good looking men. There are a few good-looking men that became Catholic priests because they've been rolled off by a woman. Woman indirectly rejected them, and they're just born to be failures and mess up when it comes to women. And I want to admit to you, I'm going to admit to you, that, uh, you know, I'm born premature. I'm born premature. When I was 10 years old in 2011, I slipped and fell on, on this riverbed over in Leyte. You know, it cracked the back of my head. The back of my head got cracked. I had to get that sewed up. Wait on, get that sewing stuff out. So I have basically a bulb spot in the back of my head, you know. And I have no hair on the back of my head. Of course, my long hair covers it. Basically, I'm messed up, you know. There's no help for people like me. I'm messed up forever. I'm messed up, and this is the way life is. You know, I was born seven months. I had a head injury. My back of my head got cracked, you know, when I was 10 years old. I should have been dead. You know, my head hit that rock like a basketball. You know, it hit like like it it hit that rock like a basketball, and it's amazing I, I'm still alive. I should have been dead. You know, I wish I would have been dead, because life ain't good for me. I feel horrible, and even if I do have so-called successes or so, somewhat of a good life, 
I'm still attracted to negativity. I'm still into so-called depressing things in life. I'm still messed up. You know, this is the way I'm designed and programmed. This is the way life has been. I'm born. I'm, I was born. I'm born seven months months premature. Not just that. You know, I had trouble breathing when I was a baby. They vaccinated me. It gave me all those poisonous injections when I was a baby. Not just that. When I was ten years old, slipped and fell on a river bed. Or, you know, in a in a mountain area that had one of the most horrible mud mud like roads that it was hard for the motorcycle to go over there in Leyte. You know, I, I I got my, you know, I slipped and fell and busted the back of my head. Over there in Leyte at 10 years old, some missionary trip. You know, I even been on an island that's isolated from the rest of the Philippines, some islands in Leyte. Yeah, that was a pretty good experience, but I messed up, you know. Maybe that also explains why I'm forgetful because of my dang head injury back then. I still got a bulb spot. Still have a... I wonder if I could show my bulb spot. But basically, I messed up, all right? I'm real effed up. I got a bulb spot. You know, the back of my head, I'm all messed up. Got a bulb spot there. I messed up. I'm probably going to be messed up forever. I'm going to try to show you my bulb spot. If I don't show it to you, it's, it is it is what it is. Here's my bulb spot. I'm trying to damn show you. The freaking bulb spot. You know? I tried to. It may not show my bulb spot. You're just going to have to believe me on that. But I really wa do have a bald spot there because the back of my head got cracked when I was 10 years old. And this is why I messed up. I'm probably going to be messed up forever. Like in GTA 4, 4, you know, Lost and Dan. You know, those bikers, Lost forever. You know, it's just like these fallen angels. They know, Satan is fallen angels. They, they know they're going to lose. You know, they're like those imperial Japanese kamikaze. You know, they know they're going to lose. But, it, but it's all worth a try. You know, they know they're going to lose. And might as well go all in. They know it's a lost cause. They're going to lose anyway. You know, all or nothing. Because what else is there to do anyway? It's too bad. Us human beings, we can't vent. We can't take our anger and rage out on Satan and his fallen angels for all the bad things they've done to us. Thankfully, maybe in the second resurrection, we'll be able to do that. Lost and damn, you know, we're going to be effed up forever.